Hello and welcome to another episode of Prosper Works. Today we're going to visit the fun side of Town Hall. And I know what you're thinking. Is there a fun side to Town Hall? Yes, there is. And it's called the Prosper Community Library. Come on in. I want to introduce you to our Director of Library Services, Leslie Scott, and she's going to take us on a wonderful tour. Of the wonderful library. That's right. All right, so let's start over here first. We're going to start off with our beginner readers, the ones that we get from birth, and then hopefully they stay readers for life. This area is really dynamic too, that we hope that when children come in this area, that they stay and kind of play and are immersed in literature. Our mission is all about engaging, entertaining, and educating. So on the floor, I don't know if you noticed, but the blue, green, and purple are what we use as signage. Per blue means that you're starting to read. Green means that it's nonfiction and you're starting to read on your own. And purple is you're off, off, and away. You're reading on your own. So the library, you kind of, um, you, you grow and move through the collection and then you go upstairs where right. you're really off. You're a teen and an adult <laughs> reader. We have our Spanish collection over here. We have holds where you can place an item at home, in the office, and we'll pull it for you, check it out, and we have it right there at the you door for you. You just walk right here? You just walk right in and get Grab it. It's it right there for you, ready yeah. to go. We have our nonfiction right over here. And then back in here we have our uh, fiction, graphic novels, and then children's DVDs. And also I wanted to point out, all around the library are the read posters, and we're really proud of that, and the, the, the community really loves those. They connect with them. Another item that we have here in this area is the AWE machines. And these are computers that are, um, they're not connected to the internet. They're much like just learning apps. Hey Leslie, it says program here. Could you tell me about the program room? I sure can. So the program room is where a lot of our magic happens. It's where we have our story times, our um, events, crafts, music, movement, bilingual. Um, we have adult programs as well. Uh, we're even planning an entire fall of fun and it's all going to happen in this room. Are many people surprised to learn that you have two stories? They are. They really are. We have a lot of people that say, oh, you're a children's library. No, we're a library for everyone. So you want to walk over here a yeah, little bit? We have some of the study rooms. our collaboration area. And then the study rooms are very popular. Um, they're typically used an hour or two, and people just go in, they study alone, they work. You guys have some really good views here, huh? We do. Uh, we have the best natural lighting. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. Nobody falls asleep in this yeah. library. <laughs> <laughs> And this is our teen space. We love, love, love this area. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's fun. You know, kids, teens love these high tables like that they see at coffee shops or, right. or restaurants. Yeah. So this is a great place for them. And then we have this technology where they can just set their phone down. They don't need a charger. They just set oh, it down and it charges it. Yes. Wow. Look at that. Man. I can just walk downstairs you, now and, and charge, charge my your phone. phone. Yeah. That's right. So I don't know if you noticed, but a lot of our end caps here are also special to Prosper. We did take a lot of these photos around and about Prosper and okay. then put them right there on the um, on yeah. the end caps for people to see. The His Prosper Historical Society had this photo and they uh, let us borrow it. We had it imprinted onto here, and then we had it imprinted into the end of oh, each of these. Oh, different parts of it. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yes. And there is a, a stamp here, the Bell Brothers, and it says Prosper, Texas, oh. 1915. Wow. So, out of all these wonderful services, which ones are underutilized that you wish people would take more advantage of? I think um, checking us out and finding out what we really are all about, there's um, always uh, confusion and misconceptions about libraries and what we do have to offer for our community and every library in Texas is different um, and so I think it's come in and learn about us and what we have to offer look at our web page our web page explains everything that we have to offer and I do think our web page is underutilized as far as the first stop for shopping about us information 
call us. We love to talk to the community. We love to talk to patrons. Um, and then I would think that uh, the databases, our online services, the Tumble Books, the Mango, LinkedIn Learning, that um, they are amazing resources available with your library card. So before I let you go though, mm -hmm. tell me, if you had unlimited resources, what would your facil facilities or offerings look like in the future? Oh, another building. Another building. A bigger building. Um, we are outgrowing this space, unbelievably. Um, we have 28,000 items physically in here and 35 digital, uh, 35,000 digital items. But as Prosper grows, our collection has to keep up with that and uh, Prosper is embracing us and we are busier than ever and so we are definitely ready to talk about a new space, a bigger space with more shelving, more programming, more study rooms, more but places. You've only been here three years. Oh, I know, but such a great, great problem to have. That we are, we yeah. are popular, we are growing, people love us, they've embraced us and Prosper's growing and we are growing with that, which is, a, which is a great one thing to follow another. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Prosper Works. Please come back and check out all the outstanding services offered by the Prosper Community Library. If you're interested in any of the services, please visit prospertx.gov.